Hello YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. I am Cola Boy. Sorry, but the aquarium lights from my salt water tank had to go because the fans made too much background noise. Today I want to talk about home automation, also known as domotica. So let's go! Well, we all know this. In the Netherlands we call this click on, click out or click on, click off. A simple remote controlled power outlet which you plug in between a normal power outlet and the device you want to control with the switch. You press the button on the remote and the power is being enabled or disabled. However, using a remote control is for amateurs. Let's look inside. This is just a remote control switch, which you plug in in a standard power outlet. And in the switch goes a light, for example. You then can control the light with the included remote control. But just using this in a standard way with the remote control is for amateurs. The smart nerd will buy this. A RFX TRX 433 USB transceiver. You can get it for around 100 euros. This device connects with USB to your PC and can send and receive signals from many devices which operate on the 433 MHz frequency. So not only this will work with click on click out, but also systems like Home Easy, Siemens, X10, Aldi, Action Switches and even many weather stations like TFA which also operate on the same 43 MHz frequency. The transceiver is supported by many software applications like Indico, Domotics, Domotica or Domotix. The last one I'm going to talk about today. This URL for this free software you can find in the description below. So here we have a click on click out switch. The transceiver, which connects to my PC, and the free application Domotics, which is already installed. Domotics is a web application. So, we go to the right address. And here, here we have it. In the setup, at the hardware option, I already added the RFX COM. So the software is set up, the transceiver is set up, and now let's see if it found some switches. If we go to setup devices, you can see that it already picked up many, many devices. These are like these are like weather stations from neighbors in the area, other devices which sense on the right frequency. And for example, here I have the temperature sensor from my weather station. It says right now 24.8 degrees Celsius. Let's see if I can find that. Ah, here it is 24.7, <laughs> so it just changed. Um, going to add this. My temp sensor at device. And now if I go to the temperature tab, you will see here my device, which it receives, which I can now monitor in the Domotics application. Now, let's learn this switch to the application. 
To do that, I'm going to get the remote. I'm going to switches, learn, and now press the remote. And now it found it. Let's give it a name. It's an on-off switch. And let's edit. Now comes the fun part. We can now switch this lamp from my PC. Let's turn it on. Whoa, this is magic. Let's turn it off again. The next step could be to add a timer. When you go to timers, one could easily say, I want, this is enabled, I want f 15 minutes before sunset. I want to enable this lamp on every day of the week. Additionally, I can say on time at one o'clock in the night, I want to disable this lamp on every day of the week. Let's add this. So now I easily created a timer which will automatically turn the lamp on or off every day of the week without needing me to use the remote control. How cool is that? So now you can get rid of all the expensive power timers and just start controlling things from one central point, your PC. Now let's add this temperature sensor, which is from my weather station in the garden. And I want to create a script which will turn on this light once the temperature of this sensor is above a certain point, just for the fun of it. I will show you how to do that. So, in Program Files, Domotics, Scripts, Lua, I prepared a demo script which will do exactly as described. Let's open it up. Blah, blah, blah. This is a nice example. If my temperature sensor is larger than 26 and my light switch is off, then the light switch will be on. In other words, when it gets hotter than 26 degrees, turn the lamp on. If my temperature sensor my temperature sensor is colder than 26 degrees and the lamp is on, light switch is on, then turn it off, return. So this is a very easy and small example of how powerful this can be. So what will happen is that depending on my temperature sensor, there will be will or will not be power on, the, on this click on click out switch and so I can control my lamp. So now it says 22 degrees so we want to make this higher than 26 
and to see if the lamp will go on. So we're going to put this in the microwave and see what happens. It was a joke, guys. Really, really. That was a joke. No, of course we're not going to put it in the microwave. We're going to set it on fire. Let's see if we can get this higher than 26 degrees. <laughs> So, I think the device will refresh every 30 seconds. So we must be a bit patient. Still be patient. Let's turn this on. Let's turn this up. And the lamp turned on. Haha! <laughs> That's really nice. That's what I wanted. Cool it down. With some ice. And we wait again till the light goes off. Come on. You can do it. And the lamp turned off 24 degrees. How nice is that? Of course, this is a retarded example, but think about the possibilities. What if this isn't a lamp, but the power cord of a cooling fan? Yeah, if it gets too hot in your room, the fan will start automatically. What if I put a click on, click out, um, open, close sensor on my bedroom window and I add not a temperature sensor, but a rain sensor from my weather station. So if it starts raining and my bedroom window is open, I want to receive an email or push notification on my smartphone. That is all very easily possible with using this software, this transceiver, and some simple scripting. You will have endless possibilities and, and you, can think, you can think of the craziest things that will be possible. Just buy cheap sensors, cheap switches, just all starter specs. You don't need extra remote controls. You don't need to buy specific internet enabled devices from the brand you are using you can combine just buy some cheap switches from the action for 10 euros for three it will all work together controlled by your pc of course you will need a dedicated pc which is turned on for 24 hours a day and not everybody will have that so in the next episode I will talk about buying a Raspberry Pi which is a very very small PC for just about 50 euros which uses almost no energy little little consumption Domotics will run on that so for 50 60 euros you will have a dedicated server 24 hours a day with Domotics on it your PC is free for other uh, users you don't have to waste it for that. And in a future episode, I will show you how to install it and how to use it. If you have any questions about this video, don't hesitate to write them down below in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would help me really a lot. So stay tuned guys. Thanks for watching until the next video. Bye bye. 
Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno.